this is Bob Kay from AMD. We're at the World Championship here in Sturgis 2010. I have with me one of the entrants for the World Championship. We have Chris from Anderson Cycles. Um, he's got quite a bike here, a little bit unique and it's in uh, execution in terms of the finish. Um, we're going to talk to Chris about what's going on with the design objectives, what he's doing with the chassis, and he'll let us know what brought him to bring this about. So Chris, talk a little bit about this sheet metal design and the chassis design, what you're trying to accomplish here. Uh, basically, in the past, a lot of bikes are judged on their bodywork and paintwork, so we decided with this one to minimalize everything and have no bodywork and no paintwork. Wanting to do, keep with the aluminium billet theme through the whole bike, so we basically just kept the steel base of the chassis and then tried to do a sleek design in, in aluminum. What was the uh, um, objective here? What was your kind of inspiration in doing this type of long stretched out design with this uh, unique chassis seating type configuration? I've always liked, um, it took me a while to actually pick the rake and stretch that I wanted. I really like the, the chopper. I've done a lot of low, wide bikes in the past, so I went down the chopper line, but I also, it took a long time to get my right rake and stretch I wanted. It really has got a lot of a European look to it. It's still a chopper, but it's, it's still low and long. Yeah, there is definitely no question about this being a chopper. Let's talk a little bit about the drivetrain. Um, what do you have for some of your, your engine components? What have you done in the transmission and primary drive? Tell us what, why you picked those and what you got there. Well, once again, I wanted to do, in the past, I've used uh, s, s engines, predominantly s, s This time, I wanted, with the whole bike theme, I wanted it all to be from my shop this time. So. We actually got s, s to cast us the cases to our specs and then I had another company, High Performance, due to my specs the top end. So what you have here is 144 cubic inch, 4.5 inch bore, 4.5 inch stroke. We got titanium valves, titanium push rods. Got 8.5 eight inch long h beam curlo rods. We're running an 8.5 point compression so we can, it starts, it's reliable and with our 4.5 inch bore, 4.5 inch stroke, we've got a square motor so very little vibration. It's reliable, it runs well, and it's a big and tangent. All right. Well, as part of Robin's uh, original desire, all the bikes at the AMD World Championship are runners, and they are true exercises in design and engineering, so we have some real function and form. Um, let's talk about the wheels, brakes, tires. What do you got going on there? Okay. I use, I've always used Avon tires. They're a nice-looking tire. They work well. They last. Wheel-wise, these are actually designed and fabricated by us as well. We used um, the handguns because the handguns is my logo and theme of my business. The wheels, there's over 100 components in each wheel to assemble them. The revolvers, chambers turn. They have um, real oak timber handles all screwed to each gun. And what are we doing on the brakes there? I didn't... Oh, the brakes. The front are twin 360 brakes. Once again, they don't hide the wheels that you've made. They look good, they, they look like you haven't got brakes. The rear, I run the disc and the sprocket together once again, so you can see all your wheels and you don't hide them. You're, you're minimalizing having an extra disc and an extra component on. Well, very clean execution, obviously a fine example here. Um, you know, something like this obviously takes a lot of thought. What kind of time do you have in the design process and then how much time, hours, must be hundreds of hours in the actual build? This engine I've probably had for nearly 10 years. This bike has been um, made in as much spare time as I've had as well as running my business and paying the bills. This has been built on the side. So this, this bike has probably evolved over a period of five years. We've made everything from the whole spring and front end, handlebars, TV cameras in it, so we have no rear vision mirrors, right down to the ignition key as a handgun as well. Well, I think this is just another fine example of the dedication the entries of the World Championship have. We really appreciate all your efforts showing up. I know it took a lot to be here too, not just the build. Thank you very much, Chris. We appreciate you as part of the AMD World Championship. Thank you very much. Hello, 
this is Suki and you are watching the AMD World Championship of Custom Bike Building Vidcast. We are sponsored in part by Harley Davidson Motorcycles, Ride Right Wheels, and Axel Motorcycles Products.